Uh, today, <laughs> today we're talking about UGC and why they're so important in today's economy. UGC. I think UGC, this is just a, a thing I thought about last night when I was up thinking about you, obviously. By the way, guys, UGC stands for User Generated Content, and it's content that people do just for the sake of showcasing their product. Yes. But it's people that have nothing to do with the brand. It'd be like some random person, yeah. Yeah. like 10,000 followers. They could have any amount of followers. Yeah. But yeah. I think it's glorified unpaid labor. What? Is it not? <laughs> Do, I do they get paid to do UGC? They get paid in product. For real, though, they get paid in product. But what is the product? Like, is Dude, it? Dude, it depends it? on the brand. What do you mean? I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it. Like, I just I was really thinking about it last night, and I think it's glorified unpaid labor. Well, Maddie, shout out to your glorified unpaid labor. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, Maddie would never accept Maddie. Obviously, um, <laughs> no. It's in general, it's a super powerful tool. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'm more likely. I don't know about you, but I'm more likely to buy from a brand when I see somebody review it rather than an ad from that brand. I agree. The ad has to be insane for me to like be invested because mm-hmm. in the back of my head, I know it's an ad. I need to see multiple people review it. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, like, I want to say, lol, I want to say anything I put inside my body. But to be real, yeah, it's literally anything. Yeah. Um, I think, though, a brand that does UGC really well is um, Cheeky Glow. Cheeky Glow. Sure. I, don't, I don't know if you've, like, um, seen them online. But basically, they went viral for this one post. Um, it's about, oh, my boyfriend broke up with me because he saw how much. Because it's like an exfoliate pad thing. Sure. And it's inspired of like Korean bath towels where yeah. you just literally like wet it and then you start like doing that. Mm. And it's like a microfiber texture. And then like a lot of dead skin comes off. Yeah. And the whole the, the whole premise of the post that went viral was, um, oh, my boyfriend broke up with me because he saw how much skin came off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ew, you disgusting yeah. trash. Um, Damn. Yeah. I think, yeah, I, I, I like that. I think the, like... I was trying to think about the reason why we like UGC uh, content or UGC approved products. It's it all ties back into like if we were to buy something online, we go through the reviews before we buy it. Yeah. Be any brand. Yeah. So this is basically just like a video review of the product mm. before you buy it. But sometimes you never ask for the review. Mm. But the product and the review are so complimentary that you're like, oh damn, maybe I do need this. Yeah. Yeah, kind of thing. I feel like a lot of um people literally like build side gigs off doing UGC, so they don't. I know I I am really like I'm going through like a shampoo hair care phase right now. You can't tell from my hair because it's just it's getting there. <laughs> um, but um, there's this Japanese hair care slash shampoo brand that's gone viral. Um. Particularly the hair mask, it's called Fino. Um, that's the brand. Um, and like, honestly, so much UGC content took me off the line. Like, yeah. took me over the line. Like, it's so much content out there about this one product that you just have to try it yeah. if you want to get into hair hair care. Yeah, and also my people who like bought it as well. Yeah, I think also like for UGC, it it's gotten so big that now brands are posting them on their own pages. Mm. Like, it could be, like, an influencer with just, like, other 10,000 followers, but the review is so, like, organic and so real and not, like, a polished ad that they're, like, Mm. this could serve as an ad Mm. on our page. Yeah. So they post that on their page. Yeah. And I think it just ties into the fact that it's, like, it's, like, the perfect... It's like the perfect peer to get the information from. Like, if I see a video of somebody... And with that, I feel like this, the smaller the followership, the better for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when, when I see an account that has, like, 100,000 followers, I think, oh, maybe they, like, got sent this. Maybe they got paid a little bit here and there. But if it's an account with, like, 2,300 Shut followers... Up. No, literally. And if they, but if they're an account with, like, 2,300 followers, I know they, like, almost have nothing to gain about like lying mm. and like hiding the fact that they're not like disclosing that they got paid to do that yeah yeah so, 
I don't know. I don't know again. Okay. But then, like, also, they're given... Because I used to work in this space, and I used to, like, send shit out for, like, UGC. Yeah. And, I mean, for the most part, they're, like, quite... They try to lean positive, I want to say. Yeah. Which is a hot take, but they do. I feel like unless you buy your own product and have a reputation for just trying it without, yeah. like, hashtag no ad, not sponsored. Um, Should I guess like, it? Yeah, it, it would be real. But yeah. um, I want to say that's why, like, people back in the day, I feel like she's made a resurgence lately. So I'm just going to mention her. Tati Westbrook. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, people love her for that shit. Yeah. Yeah, because she's, like, definitely known. Yeah. I think, yeah. For not doing that. Yeah, I, I think also, like, from the... There's so much power in the... Like, I'm thinking from the perspective of the UGC creator. Mm-hmm. It's so much power in, like, a brand that has a couple hundred thousand followers reaching out to the UGC creator. Yeah. It's almost like an easy layup. Like, it's you're almost always going to get a yes from yeah. the creator. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like they can take advantage of that. Like, if you got, especially if you've got a followership, if you've got, like, a verification badge, mm-hmm. get in them DMs, like, mm-hmm. get moving, get to work. Yeah. Hundred percent. Have you bought from any brands that through the UGC strategy? Like, did you did you ever see a oh. video so good that you're like, I need that? Honestly, so many. Um, right now, there's this. <laughs> <laughs> there's this one video that keeps popping on my for you page that is like slowly getting me off the line um getting me across the line it's called blood sugar bay by be pure okay no 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 Ivana's, and it's literally just like this energy drink blend thing and i'm like this looks so intriguing yeah i kind of want it yeah but at the same time i don't know i'm still quite skeptical of like it's it's a supplement and i'm skeptical yeah. of supplements no literally I, same i my whole my half my free page is like people trying like different flavored protein powders mm. and the protein powder like flavors on paper sounds so good it'd be like some like captain crunch cereal <laughs> flavor yeah. and it's like i don't know if it's like protein powder anymore it's just like glorified milk like yummy milk i don't know yeah yeah it's funny it's funny how much marketing can do eh? like yeah, yeah. silly 